What do you understand by GSM? GSM stands for Global System for Mobile Communication. This technique used narrowband TDMA, time division multiple access. It allows eight simultaneous calls on the same radio frequency. Now answer this question. What do you understand by 3G? 3G is a specification for third generation of mobile communication technique. 3G gives bandwidth of 384 kilobits per second when a device is stationary, 128 kilobits per second in car and 2 megabits per second in fixed application. What is Edge? Yes. I know it. Edge stands for Enhanced Rates for Global Evolution. It has high-speed data transmission rate of 384 kilobits per second when all eight time slots are used. Now answer this question. Now define hub and switch. Okay. Hub is a hardware device which is used to connect many computers. Switch is device which is used to segment network into different sub-networks called subnet. Oh, you have prepared well. Then tell, what is Telnet? Telnet is an internet facility for remote login. Telnet is an internet facility for remote login. Remote login means accessing a network from a far away place. What is the purpose of FTP? FTP means file transfer protocol. It defines the rule to transfer files from one system to another. What is email? Email means electronic mail. It is used for sending and receiving mail between computers. What is router? Router is a device that works like a bridge. And it can also handle different protocols. What is chatting? Is it necessary to be online while chatting? I will see in computer. Then tell. Chatting is online textual conversation. Written messages are exchanged between two persons. How does the firewall protect the network? Firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing traffic based on predetermined rules. Firewall may be a hardware or a software. What are cookies? Okay. Cookies are messages that a web server sends to track of their user's activities on specific website. Okay. Differentiate between hackers and crackers. Craces are the malicious programmers who breaks into a security system. Crackers are the malicious programmers who breaks into a security system. Whereas, crackers are more interested in obtaining knowledge about computer system for pranks etc. What is Web 2? Zero. Web 2 refers to added features of WWW that makes the web more interactive and increased interoperability. Some examples are blogs, wikis, video sharing, social networking. What is the difference between virus and worms? 
Virus is a malicious program that damages data files and harms the computer system. Worms creates system management problems. Worms replicate I itself creating further problems. What is OSS? OSS refers to open source software, which is editable and redistributable software. It may not be free of cost. What is the difference between free software and freeware? Free software is cost-free. It can be copied, redistributed and modified, as source code is available. Freeware is also cost-free, can be copied and redistributable, but can't be modified, because source code is not available. OP. Now the last question. Can open source software be used for commercial use? Absolutely. It can be used for commercial purposes. Even it can be modified and resold. I enjoyed this question and session. <laughs> you would have also enjoyed. So, like, share and subscribe.